This is my angry face. Hello there. Today I was going to talk about uh, something that I consider important and that is free software. I mean, what is actually free software in terms of why do we like free software? Why does it exist? Why did Stallman even, uh, I guess, invent it, if I can put it in these words? Uh, the general idea is that we are all um, able to see what the software is all about. You can examine the code if you want, if you have the skills, if you are not satisfied with the software. Of course, the software comes, comes with no warranty, as in GPL2 or free. Uh, and um, you can basically improve on it if you don't like how it works or if you find, find some uh, tiny bits that uh, are, are not according to your expectations, you can always edit, you can contribute back, you can uh, contribute back to the uh, general community of this software. Uh, and, uh, you know, ev ev when everyone contributes in any way, it uh, all becomes better for all of us, right? So, I will not put any examples right now, but generally, you know, when we have free software in our community, everyone tends to take care of it, right? Sometimes we have projects that are uh, taken care of by only one uh, main maintainer and like a small group of people and sometimes projects get uh, abandoned and this is perfectly natural. People move on and do on some other stuff uh, that uh, they are more passionate about. Uh, everyone has limited time, right? And then if this, let's pretend, abandoned software has been in use by a lot of people who still have a lot of passion for using it, right? While the main maintainer is gone, there are some options that frequently happen here. Uh, one of the options is that the maintainer will uh, willingly uh, move the project to a new maintainer, uh, if that's the, uh, let's say, um, society or, or community uh, desire, and sometimes the maintainer is not that uh, in, a, in a good mood, if I could put it that way, and then other people fork it, and then we have a fork that can be perform you know better or worse it, it doesn't really matter it's it, it what it matters is that uh, things are going on like, like like the ball is rolling right so as a user i can start using this software and someday they it might get abandoned and then i will start using a fork of this software and i will still have access to my favorite functionality right Okay, let's let let me cut it down uh, here because I'm starting to blabber too much. What I'm angry about uh, today is well this, uh, and yeah, I can see that you see the apple on it, and of course we are all angry at app, Apple, but it's it's not about Apple. Uh, it, it's about free software. Uh, this device wasn't mine. I, I didn't buy this. Uh, my friend bought this a long time ago and he is a big Apple fan and he always buys Apple stuff. Uh, and at one point Apple stopped uh, supporting this device. Uh, it was in uh, 2018. This is iPad mini 2. In 2018 Apple stopped supporting this device completely uh, and after they stopped supporting it, you could still use it for a while, but since it's now uh, 2024, this device is completely useless. Uh, let, let me just um, make something very clear. This device is physically in perfect condition. My friend is a very, uh, how do you put it, one, one of those people who who takes care of their things, right? Uh, but what is the problem? The way Apple functions as a company, especially with, especially with iOS, is that they push developers to move their software onto the uh, next iOS target requirement. Uh, what Apple does is that they make it difficult for you to maintain your software on the older versions of iOS, so basically it just becomes easier for you as a developer to simply, you know, abandon supporting the older iOS versions. No matter that you have made the software initially available on the older 
versions of iOS, now you are kind of forced to move on and like leave these users behind because uh, there's not many of them, right? Uh, what Apple does in conjunction to um, nudging developers to, towards only supporting newer versions of iOS, they also nudge you know, uh, users of older hardware to move on to the next hardware, which is of course supported. And in that case, we have the ball rolling from the Apple side. They get a lot of uh, money and the business is going, developers are happy, users are happy, everyone is happy. I am not happy. So this device was supposed to end up in trash. It was, I kind of rescued it and at this time, you cannot install anything on this device. Maybe you will be able to find some software that still works on iOS 12, but generally you are unable to install anything of value to this device. What I use this device currently for is basically reading PDFs. I just upload PDFs there uh, and that's all it is used for. And how could, you know, free software help in this situation. If this device was developed with free software in mind, I can guarantee you 100 plus percent that this device would still be completely functional. It might be a little bit slower than you would expect from a 2024 device because this clearly isn't a 2024 device, but a lot older device. I think it only has one gigabyte of memory. I mean, RAM memory. But generally what this device was designed for initially, it still is able to do that. But with the way Apple and iOS ecosystem works, you can no longer use it for what you have been able to use it when it was supported. And this is shit. I also have this Galaxy S8 device here with me and its battery is surprisingly still in workable condi condition after this many years and the Samsung as a company stopped supporting it with Android 9 uh, but I have installed uh, E operating system on it and that one comes with Android 11 uh, which you know puts it two years younger uh, from an application standpoint right but the way the way Android works and the way generally Google works, if uh, if I'm allowed to say it, it, they don't really do what Apple does in a way that a lot of Android developers, application developers uh, to be precise, are not pushing uh, users to switch to the newer version of the operating system. So if I would still be stuck with Android 9 as Samsung envisioned it with this device, I would actually be able to still use this because Android 9 is uh, pretty high up on the uh, Android API um, ver version. Basically what it comes down to that uh, the and Android users are able to use their Android operating systems for a lot longer uh, than iOS users can. Whether that's important to you or not, I mean it's important for me because I, I actually like this device. It's very, it's very smallish, slickish, fits in your hand, it doesn't have a camera bump. I, I don't really like camera bumps. Yes, they do provide better pictures if you can put more um, uh, vol volume into your uh, physical uh, capture sensor, but generally this, this really looks nice, right? Look at it, look at it, it's, it's so cool and rounded corners, everything is so so sleek about it. And I, I like this device and I like what uh, e-operating system did with it. The, the This operating system is very cool and sleek and private and I have already made a video about it. So if you want to uh, check it out, you can, you know, scroll down through my videos or just click, click the link below. Uh, but generally the difference between Android and iOS is very huge in terms of how long the older devices are supported. And even when Google uh, does not officially support them or the manufacturer of the device does not officially support them, uh, there is still Android open source uh, project which is being forked into various uh, custom ROMs. Uh, some of them are extremely popular in the community 
and there is always a way to continue using these devices. So why the free software is important, you know, as I said, if this was developed using free software, the community would take care, and I guarantee this too, the, the community would take care of this device and it would continue to be supported for many more years until all of these devices are completely dead. And what I have here is almost a paperweight. I do use it for reading books and other PDFs, but that's about it. See you in the next video.